Right, it's time to go inside this cauldron. And be able to hack this open? Yeah, and learn how to override some of the machines, which will be useful. I'm not going to do that. Uh, they should be alright. They look fine. And this is the first cauldron, at least in this game. Not overall, it's not my first cauldron. I've been in my fair share of like, cauldrons, but I've had my fair share of being in some cauldrons, but... You know, there's probably... well, this won't be the last cauldron I explore to learn how to override new machines. Right, it's not up here. I need to go this way. Okay, yeah, I'm prepared. Don't know why it's telling me that now. It's a bit too late. I've kind of like already gone in. It is. Abel seems to... What the fuck? Did I not jump? Christ, this game is already been a piece of shit. Oh, and I have to climb up again. Really? Climb up. No, I said climb up. Why are you climbing sideways? Alright, let's do this again. And do it how it should have gone the first time, because the first time I jumped, the game just dropped me and then killed me. Right. It is. Jump. Oh shit. You're fine. Here we go again. Ain't this fun? Having so much fun. Yeah. See? It is fun. Right, so it doesn't look like I'm going that way. It's just like old times. Strike from above. I think I saw another one, yeah. Do I have any fire? No. How do I get over there? Oh, let me... Oh, you see me. Gotcha, bitch. Is there a way over there, or...? Gas emitted... How does this provide stealth? Whatever. Yeah, so maybe I'm supposed to get there from the other side. Alright, let's continue on. I'm guessing there's going to be a boss fight of some sort. That's how it usually goes with, you know, cauldrons. You get in so far, there's something inside some shields, you fight it and then do the thing where you override the tower and then you learn how to override new machines. Or how learn how to override certain machines. Go on then, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, so I'm guessing it's that way. Nothing there, it's just a dead end. Was this more medicinal bright omen? That was like a uh, cash as well. Counts as berries, apparently, that does. Apparently, glowing mushrooms count as berries in this game. Alright, let me get up there. Let's go this way. Open the door. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I mean, when is there never like more machines? There's always more machines. We're in a cauldron. There's some factory like made by machines for machines. There's always gonna be machines. Yeah, you see me. What are you gonna do about it? Let me try this out. Oh. Absolute dumbass, Aloy. Like, you nearly threw yourself off by throwing that spear. Right, we're good. Now we're moving on. Have to get past this shield. Yeah, just override this. Override network uplink. See, we're good. Uh, but of course it is. It's too obvious to not be the call. Just need to get over there now. You should be able to climb these vents if I turn right. Can I go this way? What's this way? Uh, just another dead end, but there's a little off area to find some stuff. You know, an exploring area. It wasn't much, but good. I checked anyway. Great. What? Oh, of course they close. Why does that look like something out of the Matrix? I don't know. That just looking at all those like um containers in the water reminds me of the Matrix. Oh, with the human batteries. Climb up then! It's like you're waiting to die. Alright, stockpile. Right. I'm guessing I'm gliding. Um, what the fuck? What the hell do I do? Can I climb up? Oh, fuck this game. There's no point waiting for it because it's literally going to do the same thing I'm doing. I'm just doing it before it does it itself. You know, I'm not waiting for that bullshit screen of game over, you died or some shit. Like, I'm just going to load the save. Like, that was what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to glide, wasn't I? What else was I meant to do? It put me on the other side anyway. Well, I made it across, just not the way I wanted to. Yes, the arm. Ah. Uh. What the fuck? What kind of magic was that? He just went inside the floor and then like clipped my toes of his forehead. Like I swear the game is literally hacking and is trying to kill me. It's cheating. I guess I wait. Where do I where do I jump off? Was that the right time, I guess? Okay. You'll be fine. Alright. Is this the way I'm meant to go? I think so. Let me just check. There wasn't anything, like, down there, was there? Can I open that? Or is it just locked? No. No, I can. So is the other way like an ex exploration area to find some like treasure or something? Right, so is this the right way? Well, let me head back up and see where the other way went because there was like a little tunnel up this way up this way let's see where that see where that takes me 
What is this guy? Alright, let me stealth kill him. Right, I think it literally took me to the same slide. Yeah, it did. Except this way was better because I snuck up on that machine without walking through the front door. Because if I did, it would have seen me. But that. Oh. Well, let's find out. Don't look at me. Right up the ass. Give me that stuff. Right, which way am I going? Well, that way behind me. Nothing over there. Let me pick that up and replenish my health. Keep picking more up because it will store it in my stash. It's always good to have some spares. Right. Yeah, I just need to get up to that level. See, they put that there because they thought that would be hidden. You're not hidden. Like, you're not hiding from nothing. Alright, jumping up here then. And then I go up here. Okay, now I can make a bridge across there. I guess I gotta go that way to jump on one of those carriers. See, the cable bridges on this look more neat. Like, they're more, like, straight. Whereas in the previous game, they were kind of, like, more, like, tangled up. They were, like, flat, but they were, like, all tangled up. Alright. Could try getting to that arm below. How? Was I supposed to jump then? Jump. Okay. That works. Am I good to go now? Never mind. Do they close at all or they do they just stay open? And jump. I swear they shut now. Come on, jump. Whoa. Really? Was there any need for that? Come on. That sudden tension, like, really? There was no need for that. Yep, go. Now we're just cruising along, making our way to the core. What are you doing? Hold on. What are you doing? Pull up? Like, well, you just keep your feet up or keep them down. I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. Oh well, no shit. Let's get off. And what's up with this thing? Can I break it? Oh, I can. Nice. I think that was it. Yep. Those arms can help me reach the core. Oh, some more arms now. Jump. Is that the core over there on the other side of the door? Jump. Okay, I'm not sure when I'm good to go. Now. Uh, keep moving, keep moving. Guess I gotta get on more of these arms then. And more carriers. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna drop when it's not beneath me. And drop. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh, no, too late. Just have to wait. Alright, go on, go. 
Oh, I've got to jump on one of those, don't I? Right, well, you can't jump up. Well, I have to wait. Alright, made it. Okay, nearly there. I think the core's on the other side of that door. Alright, let's go. I'm guessing these machine overrides won't be much. Like they'll be over like the the overrides for these ones. Well the overrides I'll get from this cauldron will probably be over like the more like smaller easier to kill machines and then of course they'll progressively get to like the bigger machines that then I can override. How many cauldrons are there? Are there more in this one or less? You've never seen a machine store like that? No. Well, it's got a force field around it. And it's got like a spider hand. Repel down. There's the core. Now I just need to access it. Yeah, but it's not going to be that easy, is it? Like, that thing's going to get dropped down, and then we're going to fight it. We're going to win, obviously. It'll probably have, like, a couple other machines join in. And then once we've dealt with that, then we'll override the whatever it is and then get some new overrides on some of the machines. I could put some traps down, but where's the fun in that? Well, it's not that it's not fun, but I'd rather just do it with my bow and arrow. Or my bow and arrows. Oh, okay. Alright, I think. Alright, let's do it. Guarantee you that thing's gonna get dropped down. Come on, it's too obvious. It's gonna get dropped down once I start doing this. Kill, yeah, see, so kill the one more. Yeah, exactly. Knew it. I knew it. What was this weakness? Water. I do have that. Now it's drenched. Oh shit. Try and get his belly. Yeah, what's up? Oh, there's another one behind me! Of course it does, there's two of them. There you go. And same with this one. Drench it. And... Use more of these spears. Well, actually, let me use something else. Let's use some of these discs. Let's do a triple disc. No... I don't like it when it does that tries to like suck me in. I want to try and get his belly. Come on. What the hell is it doing? Gotcha. Come on. There you go. All right, pick these up. Pick these up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Before they disintegrate. Oh, they disintegrated. Well, let me resupply. Like, and also what's cool about this is that any ammo I make that I can't replace gets put in the storage or my um, stash, which is pretty cool. So I'm not wasting materials so it's like oh use these materials to craft like 10 arrows and i do it to like craft five like that material those materials will get like won't get wasted they'll be those 
uh, the ammo that I don't get to use to replace the ammo that I've used will then be put in my stash, which is pretty useful as well. So I'm not just wasting. Did I loot the other machine? No, I didn't. I was wondering, like, I couldn't see it because everything else is, like, around me is metallic. It's all blending in, but... No, I just had to look. Right, now let's do what we came here to do and override the cauldron core. First core overridden. Well, Hephaestus can suck a fat one. New milestone reached. Override unlocks Scrounger, Grazer. The Aloy's just scrolling left. Fanghorn. Swiping left. Wide more. Okay, that was a fair decent amount. And some on decent machines too. That's a lot of XP and skill points. Leveled up. Alright, now. Get me the hell out of this place. Oh, would you look at that? A scrounger. Or you can override it. Hmm. Oh, you want a piece? Alright, go on, scrounger. I'll let you finish him off. Or you can just face the wall. Are you serious? Go for him. What are you doing? Oh, there's another one. Oh, and there's another one. Alright, well, I'll finish him off. You go for that one. Yes. Oh, my God. This scrounger's fucking useless. Right there. Come on. Mess him up. What? There you go. Sit your ass down. You. No, you're fucking useless. You need to die. That's pretty out of your misery. You're just useless. You killed one machine and it wasn't even looking. It wasn't even trying to fight you and you were still struggling. And also, I'm not just going to leave you, you know. I need those parts. I need those shards. I'm not going to get very far without them. I need them. Right, so where am I going to go now? Oh, the bone. Yeah, find the Karja Huntress. Yes. Wait, so... What's over here? I'll check that out some like, later. Or I could... No, I'll check it out later. Where's my charger? And then let's go find this Karja Huntress, which I'm pretty sure I know who it is. I can't remember what she's called, but I know who it is. I can remember her. Where is she? I think so. You see that, Nilo? You have to wait for an opening. She looks a bit different. And she's got a sword, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it didn't see me, so I could just one tap it. Oh, you got more of them coming in. Oh, shit. Get out, get out. Garden. Likewise. Come over here. Talana. It's been a while. And it's not just me, right? She looks a bit different. Like, it's definitely Talana, but she looks a slightly different. 
I think. We put these traps down too. Terrible placements. And Milu, this is your new um what's it called? Your new apprentice. Sunhawk Talana came Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma. The savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back and now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, oh, Milu's your new thrush. I guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out of the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. I like how we remembered each other's name, like how Talana remembered Aloy despite the Nora. That's funny. And that's what it was called, thrush, not apprentice, but it's the same thing. Just like old so times. Battlefield. You said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. Mm -hmm. He's been on the run ever since. From what? And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. This is the field. Where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. 
Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. There are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. I was wondering what that noise was, and it's that thing on her arrow. It's like the sonic boom arrow, I think. Because I noticed how dumb that looked, how she's got a bow on her back, and then she's got this big fat arrow sticking out the side. Just looks a bit stupid. Alright, so now I need to examine the footprints. Cooking fire, yes. Heavy tracks, unable to quantify. Heavy footprints, maybe Osram. It's too many to tell if Amadis is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were Osram here? Well. To every question, there's an answer, and we will find out that answer, I'm guessing. Hmm. Light prints. Not Osram, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Well, let's follow them. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. Let's go. Just like old times, me and Talana out on the hunt. That we're looking for a person, not machine. But we might inadvertently find a machine. That's like a well-known dangerous one. I was trying to find this friend of hers. Never know. And all I can hear is that arrow on her back making that noise. I think I've been this way. Yeah. Wait, who's that? An Otaru. What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Perhaps. Wagons? What wagons? Stragglers? What are you talking about, Utaru Lao? Speak! Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone, clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him, old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karza graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. Alright. What are you doing? Hiding in the bush? Um, what's Lel doing out here just chilling by himself? You know, he's, he says he's like just grateful for company, or he's like that's all he wants right now is his company. Close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? Probably. I don't know. Maybe. But why would Lel be chilling out here if he's like just looking for company? It's a bit of an isolate, like an isolated place to be looking for company. But whatever. The that's his. That's his business. It looks like there's a tunnel. And Talana's moving a lot, and she's not going very far. I like Aisley's. Always... What? Whoa! Nice what? The Just fuck? Like exactly. Oh, hang on. Let me do this. <laughs> I did. Well, I mean, I did something. What's his weakness? Weak against acid and arrows. What? Weak against acid and fire. And he's gone back underground. Great. Don't move. What? 
Oh, what? Thanks. Oh, shit. See, I knew she had sonic arrows on her. Motherfucker, sit still. Oh, my God. What? Hang on, let me get up here a second. Oh, he destroyed it. He's he's a no he's melting, he's melting. Let me, he's melting. Yeah, let me get some explosives on his ass. What else is he weak against? Oh shit. Got him. Piece of shit. Feels good to hunt by your side again. Yeah, likewise. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. God is ass. That's massive fat motherfucker. I wonder if Talana would give us that bow she's got or that ammo at least, because those were sonic boom arrows, and I love those arrows. I just like the noise they make when you fire them. They just go wham, boom. That and they're pretty good because, at least in the first game, they're pretty good. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? Perhaps. And I've been in here before, but there was a door, it needed a code, and there was nothing around to tell me what the code was. And there's someone buried under here. Talana, I think I found something. In the rubble. What is it? It's a body. What does it say? It was part of the caravan that went through here. I know it ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. Well, there is, but we just don't have the code. Because that's what we need. We need a code, but we don't know what the code is. Yeah, there's nothing in there because I've already been in here, but somehow the rubble just put itself back together. Yeah, there's nothing there. And I've looked around, there's no, like, um, data point things, you know, there's nothing saying what the code is. Nothing. Because I came in, I thought, oh, there's no code about, maybe this is part of a side quest? No, I was right. But I'm guessing we'll be back here another time, maybe Talana will find out the code, perhaps? Because this seems like a, just an area, and it doesn't go anywhere. It's just like a big open area, like enclosed by like mountains. Right, so now, I think that's another, that's another side quest. Let me go here so I can see what that is. It might just be another uh, machine location, perhaps? Well, don't know. That's just me guessing. We'll see, we'll see. Right, don't, no, stop crouching and get on the charger. Right, let's go. Where is it? Up there. I might have to climb. Alright, I can't see. Alright, there we go. Is there a way to climb up this way? I could just hop. 
Okay, what's up here? Ah, red gleam or fire gleam. It's fire gleam. Well, firstly, how do these caches or chests get in here and then just get covered up by rocks? With that fire gleam on it, like how? Haha, <laughs> my health is 420. Alright, now I'll head up this way. That seems like a settlement. Right, so I'll fast travel there. I need to use my skill points as well. I've got like 10 skill points. And I'm going to use some of them to fully upgrade this Valor Surge. Fully upgraded a Valor Surge. Nice. So now my critical hit chance is plus 55%. Critical hit damage is plus 50%. And critical strike damage plus 150%. And weapon technique extra critical chance plus 15%. And also some of the skills have less. Well, that one's the least amount. It's got 20. And the most is this one. It's got 31. The rest of them... Well, these two have 29. That's 27. That's 26. So, hmm. well, I guess I might as well start putting the upgrades to upgrading the other Valors before I, like, start upgrading. I think I'll do that. So that's causing an elemental blast. Very nice. So I, what I'll do is, because I've been sticking with this one for a while, this elemental, not elemental, this uh, Valor Surge, I'll switch to the next one when I fully upgraded it and then so on. So I've got two skill points, but I'll wait until I can... Because it, how much is it to upgrade it again? Five. And what's this? Utaru Whisperer. And what's that? Need to know on hold. On hold until Talana finds a way across the mountains. Right, 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 right. Okay. Oh shit, well actually let me glide. I wonder what the highest point in the game is because I want to get to a top of a massive ass mountain and then just glide off the top. This would be so cool. Oh, what's up? Come on. There you go, that's more like it. That's what I missed about these machines, shooting them in the chest and watching them explode. Pepsi. Get flashbanged. Except without the flash, it's just a sonic bang. Right, pick it up. Oh, let me call my uh, charger. Let's go. I'm not going to go on foot when well, I can call this charger in and ride there quicker. Am I going? No, I'm going the wrong way. This way. Yes, this way. Somewhat of a path. Alright, now it should be up this way. And what was this one? Shadow and I go to the Eclipse hideout coordinates. I, uh... So, this is what? A bandit camp? Or an Eclipse camp? Weak against electricity. Just shoot him. Wow, just one shot him. Oh, he mad. There you go, easy. Pick that up. I like how the things you had to unlock in the first game, like the skills and stuff, now you can do them in the second game. But of course, there's like different skills and stuff now, but it's more so to do with like the arrows you use and the weapons you use and I like how you put face paint on that's interesting you just put on brief wall paint and then it just falls off oh shit no one's <laughs> right in the forehead no one's here and they've got machines yep oh those captives Right, tag. 
There's people here. Yep. Utaru. Are they being forced to excavate these ruins? Of course they are. <laughs> They're not going to do this shit willingly, are they? Oh, I'm guessing that's the big boss around here. Because he's got a big ass machine gun. What's he doing? Are they alerted? Can you see me? Oh. But you notice something, but can he look up? Guess not. No, don't do that. Yeah, that's right. This is our chance! Run. What's that? what's happening? Oh they got oh, they spotted my charger. Did the captives manage to get away? I think they got away. Now, what are these Eclipse boys doing out here, then? They're digging up more of these. These are Deathbringers, right? So they're still doing the same shit they were doing in the first game. Digging up Deathbringers and what? Worshipping some AI, believing it's some sort of god. And then to bring all these machines back to life so they can take over the Sundom, you know. Take over. Oh, that's my charger. Take over Meridian. Can't even call him because he died. Why? How do they find all these Deathbringers? Like, how? Like, it can't just be by chance, surely. They're finding out where they are somehow. You're not as sneaky as you thought. Yeah? Don't need to be. No ammo. Well, let me craft some more then. Still around. Oh, there's actually one right there. He's oblivious. That's all of them. Now I need to get hey. into these ruins. I can help Stop you get in. This all right. Is doing. Let me in then. Let's talk. Talk to the Utaru prisoner. Well, he's not a prisoner anymore. He's free to go. All right, let's talk to him, man. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen, if you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. So the Eclipse abducted you? Yeah. I was out, uh, exploring a couple weeks ago when they caught me. Exploring? Well, more like wandering and looking for scraps. Plain Song isn't such a fun place to be right now. Not much food, not much to do. Of course, it's a thousand times better than this cesspool. Next time, I'll stay closer to home. The others ran off. Will they be okay? They'll run straight for Plain Song. No guarantees, but they'll probably make it. I'd be more worried about the ones still inside. They'll either be working or penned up. I'll keep an eye out for them. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? 
think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You should probably head back. And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Probably for the best. Alright, now let's get in there. Find Vezra. See if they're in there. And obviously rescue anyone else. Must have been some battle the old ones fought here. Well. They went down fighting. Alright, well, let me just sneak up on this punk. Shank his ass. Oh, nice. Wait, did you even put that for his chest? It looked like you put it between his arms and ribs. Okay, so going this way. Is there anyone else nearby? You are. It's Vesra. That's my way in. What? Aha, here. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Yeah. Time to put an end to it. What's up there? How do I get up there? Guess on the other side. Oh, what a headshot. There's one there, one there. No, I don't care about a dead one. Oh, they noticed something. And that just missed them and they just don't care. Oh! So much for the gods. Now for their leader. Yeah, where's that bitch ass Something leader? To connected to a power source somewhere. Probably inside that big structure. But that's where I'll find him. Well, hopefully we'll find him. Hopefully we get some answers and then hopefully we kill him. Well, hopefully. Hopefully he's here. Conquer what? You ain't conquering nothing. Same old eclipse. Talking about empire and world domination. Yeah, right. Alright, any prisoners? What's that? Ancient supply chest. What are these machines? Oh, there's just more Deathbringers. See, there's no way they just found these machines by chance. Like, they, there's no way there's like a another AI... Or maybe they're still worshipping it, even though they're not directly in contact with it? I don't know. Because how would they find these machines unless someone told them or something told them? Shut up! No one cares. Alright, there's the door. Alright, that's... I haven't seen anyone, like any Yutara prisoners, so maybe they're not out here? Are they inside here? Yutara 
Hebrew prisoners. Outlander? Oh, I gotta let them out. Quick. Help us. Shut up. Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Exactly, relax. Blessed thanks. Shut up. Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. What will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vesra. All right. Oh yeah, it's not so nice in here. Alright, let's find this prick. This Vesra. Mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. <sighs> the savior of Marie. How kind of you. Delivered Shut you. up, Vesra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. Oh no shit. That ravager isn't gonna make things easy. Gotta take it out fast. What the fuck? Yeah, you missed. And I've run out of ammo. Let me use a spear. Well actually there's no point, just hit. Got him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Actually, let me use some acid arrows on him. Fuck. Go on him. How did that hit him? How did that no hit him, I mean? Fuck. Wow, alright, let me... Got him. What I wouldn't give to watch you die. You'd have to try a lot harder for that. Not with this. We'll both be gone in an instant. you just beat the snot out of these bastards but this is beautiful the others i i told them to hide are, are they everyone's okay they all found a safe place i figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up then i'll take everyone back to plain song thanks Yef. listen sometimes during his ramblings bezra mentioned his former comrades said they'd arrive any day now are we safe? I don't know. But I intend to find out. 